Welcome back to a new video here with Life with the Bridges. If you're new to our channel, you're joining us 17 months after our son got diagnosed with an aggressive type of cancer known as AML leukemia. Since then, he had three rounds of chemotherapy, a full bone marrow transplant, and we are lucky enough to have the opportunity for our son to get a second chance at life. We have documented every part of our journey to raise awareness within childhood cancer. We now have a different perspective on life and are out there to explore all life has to give and find the true meaning of happiness together as the Bridge family. So join us as we go on a 10 day adventure around Wales to make some unforgettable memories and be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow our journey. We're all going on a summer holiday, no more working for us, we got to We're going where the sun shines brightly. We're going where the seas are blue. And even in the movies, just see if it's true. What on earth are you doing in my caravan cupboard? Oh, what, you want to come with us? on our epic road trip around Wales. Well, I don't bloody blame you, to be honest. Yeah, we've got room in here. Yeah, we've got room. You want to come with? Well, as you're here, I don't know if you know, we are going on a 10-day adventure right up to the north of Wales to spend five days there. Then we're going to the west coast of Wales to explore the west and central Wales. And we're going on a worldwide adventure. And it is going to be bloody amazing. Not only are we going away for a holiday and to make more memories with our little boy, Teddy, but as you guys know, and we've said in the past, that we potentially want to change a life in the future. And we want to look at potentially having our own homestead, which is our dream. And Wales is one country that's on the list that we potentially want to search to see if we can find someone that we fall in love with. So, uh, and as you're now here, you might as well come with us for the journey. And if you thought that we packed a lot last time, we have pretty much collapsed our whole house and bought it to put it in our house on wheels. Simple as that. Let's unpack the car because we've got an adventure to go on. I need to pack this so tactically because <sighs> otherwise it is going to fly everywhere. It's like a good game of Jenga. Why he's got a wheelbarrow, I don't know, but we need it. Right, let's unpack this car and see how many pointless bags that we bought this time. My guess is five. A bag of coats, because it's meant to be raining for the next 10 days. Sweet! Teddy's carrier, as we have got a hell of a load of hikes to go on, and some incredible waterfalls. So, uh, carrier, dog food, otherwise the dog will die. Another coat. Clothes, for every occasion possible. More clothes, for all the other occasions. More clothes, for all the occasions I've missed. Organisation is key, ladies and gentlemen. If there's any more clothes in that car, Guessed it. Another bag of clothes. It's actually Teddy's coats, but anyway, more clothes. Uh -huh. Paddleboard in wetsuits. Check. Uh, a pram that Teddy doesn't enjoy to go in anymore. Pointless, but check. Rain cover for the pram. Check. And a whole basket of shoes. Anyone would think we're a family of octopuses, to be honest, but basket of shoes. Check. I just remembered, I forgot the paddleboard. Oh well, we can do that tomorrow. The caravan is pretty full up now. That is without paddleboard, all my tech, about four other bags that sit in the hallway. But that's tomorrow's problem, as that is when we're off on an adventure. And you guys are coming with us. So, we shall see you in the morning. Let's get outside. Teddy, we've got no time to go outside. We're going on holiday. You don't look very ready to go on holiday, mate. Come on, we've got an adventure to go on. Let's go. Teddy. 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 Teddy Bridge. Bring your frog. We can take him to Wales. I've got a frog. That's amazing. I've got a frog. You have got a frog. You also still got your pajamas on, mate. We finally got Teddy and his frog chains and left Bridge HQ, picked up the caravan and hit the road for our epic journey up to the north of Wales and search for all their hidden gem that Snowdonia National Park has to offer. We are currently three and a half hours into our six and a bit our journey up to the north of Wales. We've had two stops, just stopped off for another wee and another coffee and uh, we have got two hours and 20 minutes until we reach our destination and hopefully pitch our awning, get our caravan on site and uh, finally breathe. But uh, this little monster in the background has been doing so well and so is Willow. If you haven't already to subscribe to our channel, if you want to see this amazing road trip around the north and the west of Wales, as uh, we have a lot planned and a lot in store for the next 10 day adventure. Let's go.
after seven hours but six hours driving and a couple of stops and traffic and all the rest of it but seven hours in total we are finally here and this little boy has been absolutely incredible and that little girl in the back we haven't even heard a peep out of her so super proud parents we are finally here at nat Cole waterfalls camping park and um yeah we're looking forward to our stay but we've got to get this caravan pitched up get the awning put up and then um, get the caravan unpacked and just yeah start our adventure it's 29 nearly just crashed the caravan sweet that'd earn an entrance wouldn't it just the approach to snowdonia national park got us excited for what's to come the vast landscapes woodland and mountain ranges awaits us to explore over the next five days and our campsite was right in the middle of it set in a beautiful valley sheltered from the wind with the most incredible waterfall and river that meandered its way through the campsite it was truly magical we were slowly getting used to let's just call it absolute chaos of putting up an awning with a toddler and a dog we were finally nearly unpacked in a place where we were going to call home for the next five days being placed on an unexpected hard standing pitch which seemed to be made out of an extra strong carbon steel didn't bode well with my delicate plastic floor pegs. We persevered and made it work. I think Teddy noticed the beads of sweat dripping off my chin and the stress wrinkles on my forehead multiplying by the minute as even he offered to lend a hand. Good job, Teddy, show you. And even Teddy kindly pointed out how well my plastic pegs were going. Oh no. Time to sort out the interior. Done. You're making yourself at home, mate. Where are we? Are we on holiday? Yeah, good chat, mate. Nice. With our unorganised mess starting to resemble some sort of a camp, it was time to build the barbecue with a little helpful hand of Teddy, of course, then pop to the shops to get a few of the essentials. Look at this place, the beach down there. This is going to be a very, very special few days. Surrounding areas are absolutely beautiful. And um, I was driving back to camp. I couldn't help but stop and go and have a look at this view. But yeah, time to head back to camp. It is now 20 past eight and uh, Teddy is hopefully going down. He has been an absolute trooper all day, as well as Willow. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to get this started. So I think we're going to get an early night to start this trip because we've got a full day planned tomorrow of loads of different waterfalls all around the local area. And we've got a hell of an itinerary for these first four days up in the north of Wales. Yeah, stay tuned because we have got a lot coming here at Life of the Bridges. Look at you, Diddy. 25 to 9. You're on holiday, aren't you, mate? So I've just got back to camp. Taking the pooch for a quick stroll. Now we're going to have a quick look around the site. I've got some amazing little glamping pods as well. I think there's only 26 pitches for like caravans, but they've also they've got glamping pods and the majority is all just tents. So they just offer so many different options here and it's just truly amazing. One of the most amazing things is, is that you can hear the running river, which is what this site is famous for. The waterfalls that are on, actually on site, but the huge river that runs through. But also, it's uh, just the smell of everyone's campfires and all the kids having a good time, and that is what camping is all about. But check out this river, it's beautiful. This is literally three minutes from where we're camping. This is why we've come to this campsite. And check out this most amazing waterfall and I've just stumbled across it. I wasn't even meant to be going to see it at the minute. We we're gonna save it for us to come and explore later on in the week, but this is just breathtaking. Check this out. That is insane. Like the pictures don't even do it justice in fairness and you can actually go up there and that kind of up that top section there is where people swim. I'm definitely going to be having a cold water dip in there at some point, but this is just magical. Peace and tranquility at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Although this trip is going to be very action-packed with lots of hikes, waterfalls, mountains, you name it, we're going to do it. There is also an element of just kind of wanting to make memories and relax and unwind and just explore the local area and just see if we fall in love with Wales. And so far, this is amazing. It really is, so um, yeah, but I'm going to carry on this walk with Willow. 
head back, put a few bits in the barbecue, and as I said, going to have an early night tonight, ready for an action-packed day tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you then. With the cub finally asleep, I built the fire pit, chucked some logs on, and threw some food on the barbecue, and finally plonked my bottom on a seat to enjoy our dinner after a long day's travel. Then we headed off to bed, ready for our first day of our itinerary in the next morning. Good morning. So our morning started at approximately 4.59 a.m. this morning because Teddy went to bed about 8 o'clock and he uh, slept all the way through but woke up nice and early. So we are out for a nice morning stroll in the fresh air as the sun is rising here in Snowdonia area of the north of Wales. And uh, we have come down to this beautiful river. It's the first time Kate and Teddy have seen it because myself and obviously Willow saw it yesterday. What a better way to start your day than at 11 minutes past six after we've had our morning coffee, out for a nice morning stroll. But as I said yesterday, we have got an absolute action-packed itinerary for today. Kate's the head of itinerary, may I add. She uh, has kind of scripted this all out over the last few days, and it sounds bloody epic as I was driving here. So, um, But for now, let's go and explore what this campsite has to offer. This is what camping is all about. Early mornings, fresh heads, and then out in the middle of nowhere. This is living. No one needs an easy path to the top. Let's go steep and to the top quickly. Love how we've got a family of crocs on going up the steep option. They weren't joking about the steep steps, were they? There's a mountain goat. Whilst we all took a moment just to stop and take in the natural beauty that surrounds us, the ice cold water was just staring at me and I was holding back the temptation to want to go in. Then in an instant, I took myself back to being stuck in the four walls of a hospital with Teddy and that was enough to bring me back down to earth. And in life, you only regret the things you don't do. So I got my kit off and I was going to start my morning the right way with a good old ice cold dip. Unintentional cold water dip. There's no time like the present, ladies and gentlemen. No time like the present. And I always say, none of us have time. So if you're in a situation and there's something you want to do, don't think, just do it. And I certainly don't regret that because now I feel alive. And I don't need a shower, which is a positive. She can have some breakfast. Yeah. You, no? Yeah. You don't like breakfast, do you? Daddy loves breakfast. Oh, the camp is starting to awake. There is life on camp. We are back on camp. And Teddy's found his... Wheelbarrow! You're gonna come find some treasure. That's it, come find some treasure. <laughs> Good job, mate. There was no stopping this boy now. He was living his own life. Not one that had been dictated by cancer. He was off on an adventure, one step at a time. Whilst I was preparing breakfast, one of them, couple of these, push that, twist that, and voila, breakfast was served. With breakfast done, we headed out for our first day of exploring. 
starting with a castle. This was a stunning coastal town which had fun fact of an astronomical amount of pubs in the town. 57 in fact, but with all the pubs and shops being closed as it was too early and it was a Sunday, we decided to quickly grab a true Welsh delicacy known as a Greg sausage roll. Anyone watching this video from overseas and doesn't know what one of these is, get to know as they are bloody delicious. Full up to the absolute brim with sausage rolls, we waddle around the castle to see what all the fuss was about and I'm certainly no history lover, but even I can appreciate a bloody impressive castle when I saw one and this was stunning. I'm not even going to try and fill you with history knowledge about this castle as I was still trying to digest my sausage rolls to do any research but what I can tell you is it had about 12 turrets and made out of shitloads of massive bricks and it was absolutely jai bloody enormous. This ladies and gentlemen was a 10 out of 10 castle in my eyes, a bit like my sausage roll to be honest. With the castle done and the sausage rolls digested we decided to head for a stroll along the shoreline whilst King Teddy had a little power nap. And when I say stroll, I meant a stroll to a bench to sit down and take in the views and have one last look at the 10 out of 10 castle. But before you knew it, it was time to transfer the beast to the car and continue on to the next part of the day, waterfalls. So we have just arrived to our second stop of the day at Abba Falls. And uh, yeah, let's go see what it's like. It's meant to be really good. It's highly recommended. So let's wake the cup up and go and chase down this waterfall. You have a nice nap. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wake up straight up a waterfall. Let's go, dude. So we have learned two things already on the walk to Abba Falls. FYI, for anyone that's coming, it is open for disabled access and buggy access, but uh, not from the bottom car park. So the bottom car park is the one that is furthest away, which we parked in because it was the first car park we saw. And it turns out carrying a pram is absolute nightmare. So carry on to the second upper car park, and I think the disabled access is from there. Just an FYI for anyone coming with a pram like us. This is a pain in the ass. There's the top car park and disabled access and a nice path. Not what we just went on. With our lessons learnt, we started our two kilometre walk to the waterfalls, which Teddy decided to take a ride on the newly recruited Welsh donkey. With our little independent toddler wanting to take on the hill on his own, it was fair to say it slowed down our pace slightly, which was absolutely okay, as we could firstly take a breather, but secondly, appreciate and admire our little superhero taking on these physical activities and my lord he's made some progress. From being bed bound riddled with cancer to him wanting to climb rocks and hills that even the Welsh donkey was struggling with makes us forever proud of his progress and in awe of his every step. But the donkey was always there whenever he needed a little rest, a bloody good looking donkey I must say. With the sound of the falls up ahead keeping us motivated we took a look from the sky and wow there she was in all her glory and according to the drone it was only 500 meters away which gave us a kick up the ass to keep marching on to see this waterfalls up close we kept putting one foot in front of the other and marched on and on and on and on and on and on and sometimes we even went in the wrong direction of course but we finally made it to Abba Falls in sight and she was glorious. 120 feet worth of ice cold waterfall. This was why we came to North Wales to expose Teddy to incredible natural wonders like this. No TVs, no plastic toys, pure nature at its finest. Hey, look at that waterfall mate. Wow, hey. Wow. That is huge and well worth the walk. We found a little hidden gem of a picnic spot off the path with the view of the falls away from all the tourists to stop off and appreciate our surroundings. Have a spot of lunch ready for our return back down the hill. This was a moment I'll remember forever. Settings like this don't happen often, especially in our scenario. We were lucky to have this view, lucky to all be together and lucky to have the ability to simply live. 
we were truly blessed and this is what we had come to Wales in search for life and we were just a hidden pinprick in the vast landscapes making the most out of this one moment. So that is this waterfall wrapped up and we are off to go and attempt to find this hidden gem now. Uh, we don't actually know where it is, we've got rough directions but uh, hopefully it'll be worth the search. That's a perfect time to end part one of this adventure around Wales. Don't forget to come back for our next video where we continue our adventure and go in search of one of North Wales' secret hidden gems which involved hiking and carrying Teddy up a mountain in hope to find it. I am sweating my tips off. There it is ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to our channel. A huge thank you to all our Bridge family members and remember, live for today as tomorrow is never promised. See you in part two chaps.